Greetings to you from Rivers of Living Water Cathedral, 604 Holland Street in Fremont, Ohio. Thank you for joining us today, and may this shared word be a blessing to you and give you some answers for questions that you may have been pondering. And now we're privileged to have Prophet David Tucker bring us this morning's message. Amen. It will be in conclusion to what he had last Sunday. So if you missed last Sunday, you may want to look at that one too. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Father, Lord Jesus, Holy Ghost, we, we acknowledge you. It's all about you. I yield myself to be used by you for your glory and honor. Word my mouth, help me to speak with clarity, accuracy, simplicity, in a way to which everyone can understand what the Spirit is saying unto them. And Father, we will not fail to give you all the glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God is good. All the time. I'm going to say it again. God is good. All the time. Yes, sir. God has made me a... Oh, I'm walking already. Bless him, Lord. God has made me a happy person. I think that is an attribute of... My family, the Tucker family, are always smiling. <laughs> Most of them. But you know what? There's a song that says, I got the joy, 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 down in my heart. Yeah. Down in my heart. See, when you, when you know who your Lord and Savior is, you can have the joy in your heart even when you're going through trouble. Yes, How many knows that? Yes. I didn't say believe, he knows that. I know that. There's another song that he lives, he lives, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks. He that have an ear, let him hear. You know, the scripture says he's our helper. Do we have that listening ear? Because he's always talking. But are we listening? Are we just hearing and not listening? There's a difference. Actually, hearing is part of listening. But listening, hearing is on the outside. <laughs> Listening is on the inside. Right. Our flesh is on the outside. I spoke so far around the kish. Our spirit is on the inside. The Holy Ghost speaks to our recreated, born again spirit on our inside. Amen. Amen. Dr. Kenneth Hagen, senior. Yes. He's always hearing say this. Are you listening to me? Yes. Didn't know what he was saying back then, but I do now. Yes, sir. I hear our own apostle say, listen, listen, listen. Oh, I caught that. Catch this. He ain't talking about catching that out here. He's talking about cold, cold stuff. Yes. Catching it in here. We actually, we can't even comprehend the things of the Spirit with, with this. Amen. With our hot flesh. Impossible. 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 He lives. He lives. He lives. I was a uh, Greet it this morning. You know, I like, I, I like family. Me too. I come from a big family. Yeah. There's 12, it was 12 kids. <laughs> Five of them are in heaven. Dad, dad and mom are in heaven too. Yeah. You'll see them someday. Yeah. But in the meantime, we've got a job to do here on this earth. Yeah. See, they've done their part. Right. Now it's up to us. I'm not just talking about me. We all have a job to do. Yes, it's up to us to do our job. Yes. Amen? Amen. Amen. 
You know, I was reading, I was, you know, I meditate a lot. And, and, and Pastor Joyce in the morning is when I do a lot of my meditating. I'll get up and go to the bathroom. How many of us have to get up and go to the bathroom sometimes for the night? <laughs> but you know what? That's the time for the Holy Ghost and I to commune. Yes. That's when he gives me the majority of the lessons that he gives me to impart. Praise you know, when we're listening, one thing about listening, and that's very true early in the morning before everything starts moving Amen. around. Amen. You can really listen. You can really listen. So I wake up and go to the bathroom. And I go back to bed thinking I'm going to go to sleep. <laughs> Rarely I go back to sleep. My wife can testify to that. I'll lay there. Sometimes she said, hey, what are you doing? I'm praying. I'm listening. I'm, I'm, I'm listening. I'm listening. Because you know what? The Bible tells us that the Holy Spirit will lead us in all truth. He will lead us. He will. He will. So we can expect the Holy Spirit if we're, if we're listening. I'm, I, I'm moving today, brother. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. We can expect the Holy Spirit to do what he said he would do. Yes. Are you expecting him to do that? What he said he'll do. And that comes by listening. Yeah. You know what they thing about? The Holy Ghost, he's so faithful. Yes. Yes. He's so faithful. I'm going to say this again. Our lesson from the last scriptures we read last Sunday was in Revelation. Remember Revelation 2 and 3? That just, we pull parts out of verses. But they said, he that hath an ear. A in ear. Hmm. See, we hear a lot of things. A lot of things, a lot of noises are going on in the world. But Jesus said, that's Jesus that is speaking. He said, he that hath an ear. Look, 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 look. Listen to me. And means one. He didn't, he didn't say he didn't have ears, did he? We hear all kinds of he had all kind we hear all kinds of things. But you know what the Lord I believe was telling us? To have that listening ear. ear. To what the Spirit is saying. See, there's a lot of things being said. But is it the spirit that's speaking to you? We must be trust so We must be able to discern between the spirit and the flesh that's and people right. and us. Yes. That's right. That's right. We must be able to distinguish the difference. And you know what? You heard practice make perfect? How many when you first start walking the Lord, you miss it? How many still miss it? Sometimes. Do you give up? No. 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 In fact, the Lord encourages the word encourages us to be ye steadfast, unmovable, always. <coughs> Excuse me. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. Amen. For as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Are you listening? You know one thing I look forward to every day. I'm not bragging, but I'm bragging on my Lord and Savior. I'm bragging on bragging on my Father, my the Son, and the Holy Ghost. I'm bragging on them, which are one. <laughs> every morning when I get up, I do this. I do this. 
The Bible says in Romans, the 12th chapter, the first and second verse, and I present my body every morning. Present your body, living sacrifice unto who? Holy. Acceptable unto who? Don't be The Bible says be not man pleasers. Don't quit trying to please him. Because you know what? Never can be done. <laughs> Can't be done. Present your body and look. And I say this, everyone, you know why? Because I know it needs to be in me to do that, to remind me. And you know who reminds me? My teacher, the Holy Ghost. Living holy, acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service. And I say this. I refuse to be conformed to this world. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. But I am being transformed through my obedience to God and his word, so I am being transformed by the renewing of my mind that I may prove. See, we don't need to prove to God. He already knows. That I may prove to myself what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Are you listening to me? <laughs> I like that. But you know what? We should be hearing it from the Father. Hi, David, are you listening to me? We need to listen. Listen. There's so many things that are said that we don't understand. We got a teacher who will teach us to understand. Amen? Amen. 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 I said it last week and I'm going to say it again right now. Sometimes my wife will say something to me and I'll say, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How many husbands have ever done that? I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Then she'll, she'll go, I don't mean that. <laughs> I'm like racking my mind. Okay, so now, now I'll come up with some, something else. Try to explain to her what she knows she's talking about, but I don't. <laughs> I'll explain something. She said, no, I'm not talking about that. Understanding is so very important. Amen. Amen. Understanding. See, when we listen, we understand. We, what, why, why did God say, lay hands on the sick? Why did he say that? You ever question that? The, the scripture right there says, tells us, they shall recover. Amen? Amen. Well, so I already said, hearing, hearing is received by the outer man. Mm -hmm. Listening is received by the inner man. Mm -hmm. I said also, I said last week, we have an outer ear and we have an inner ear, don't we? I want us to remember this. The scripture in Revelation, and Jesus said it too in the Gospels. He that have an ear, let him hear. Which ear are we using, listening to the Spirit with? Because if we're trying to listen to the Spirit with our outer ear, we're not even hearing. Okay. We ain't even hearing from the Spirit. We ain't even understand what the Spirit is saying. Remember what Jesus told Nicodemus? Except the man be born again, he cannot see, comprehend, know what the kingdom of God is all about. That's right. Can't understand it. But see, we racking our heads against the wall trying to understand in the physical what the Spirit is saying is impossible. But you know what? <laughs> God brings his word for correction. He corrects, he corrects me all the time. <laughs> he brings out the Bible belt. <laughs> huh? 
How many likes the Bible of Bell? You know what? I don't like it, but I love it. Listen to what I'm saying. I don't like it, my flesh remains. Don't like it, but my spirit man loves it. Because I know whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, he corrects. He don't want us to see us walking down the wrong road or doing something wrong. So he'll bring correction to us. That's love. That's love. Don't feel good to our flesh, but it's love. It's right. It's right. Amen. 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 Hmm. Are you listening? Hmm. I didn't say it was all things on this paper already. But you know what? I had a tendency to listen to the Holy Ghost rather than read off that paper. <laughs> I, I really do. I really do. Turn in your Bibles with me to uh, first, first uh, Corinthians, the second chapter. <laughs> 1 Corinthians, the second chapter. See, our natural man cannot comprehend or understand the things of the Spirit of God. Paul talking here to the church at Corinth. But you know who else he's talking to? This word is talking to? Us. 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 See, when we listen, I mean, really listen, excuse me, really listen to what that anointed speaker is saying that the Holy Spirit is speaking through that anointed person. You caught that. The anointed person. I don't care if he's homeless. I don't care if she's unfavorable. I don't care if she's a prostitute. I don't care if they stutter. God fix it. <laughs> He's a fixer. Amen. He's a fixer. It doesn't matter. I'm going to say it again. I mean, you're going to hear me keep on saying it. If he to have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying. Amen. Amen. The Spirit has many different ways of communicating with us, but are we listening? Listening. I hear people say, don't put God in a box, and that because what happens a lot of time. Yes, you know whose box it is? Their box. What they oh, of course. Yeah. What they think. But God wants us to know what He does, what He has is saying. Okay, Paul speaking to the Corinth church said, I'm gonna read, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read the whole chapter. I'm gonna read it fast. I'm not even going to stop except for one verse. Okay? Okay. And I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with excellency, excellency of speech or of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of God. For I determined not to know anything among you save Jesus Christ and him crucified. I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling, and my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of men's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and of power. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Howbeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect. See, the, 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 the wisdom he's talking about there. Is talking about he's talking to a mature person who understands who has who has understanding what the word really is saying. Otherwise, it goes right on by if they're thinking carnally. Howbeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor the princes of this world that come to naught. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto, his, unto our glory, which none of the princes of this world, and I like this verse, <laughs> which none of the princes of this world knew, for, 
For had they known, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. See, see. <laughs> I, I get, I, oh, hallelujah. Well, that, that, that's the shouting. That's shouting right there. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. They thought, Sister Gadea, they thought they <laughs> ended our Lord and Savior. Oh, what they did. It yeah. was just the beginning. Hallelujah. They was cheering, but they, <laughs> they didn't even know. Had they known, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. They didn't know. They didn't know. See, an unbeliever does not know. But you know what? Our Father, love is, love, love is so great, he wants the unbeliever to know. But it's up to the unbeliever to get in the Word and let the Holy Spirit teach them so that they will know. It's God's will that none should perish, but all should come to repentance. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Verse number nine. But as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard. You see, that's talking about natural. Neither have entered into the heart of a man the things which God had prepared for them that love him. But, everybody say but. 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 Say but God, yeah. But God. but God. Have revealed them unto us. How? By, By his spirit. spirit. For the spirit searches all, all things. Yea, the deep, deep things. He, the deep things. He searches them in, deep, in the deep things. You know what he does? He gives them to us. You know why he gives them to us? Ain't just for us, it's for us to stand. Yes. To give out to others. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, I understand that now. Well, you understand it, David. Now you impart that to someone else so they will understand it. That's God's will. Hallelujah. But God has revealed them unto us by his spirit. For the spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. For what man knoweth, listen, listen. For what man knoweth the things of the man, save the spirit of man which is in him. Even so, the things of God knoweth no man but the spirit of God. See, the, the scripture says in Romans, it's, it's in Romans, the eighth chapter, somewhere in Judah, it says, if that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwell in you, He that, raised, he that raised Christ from the dead shall also, say also. Awesome. <laughs> that, that, that's powerful. Mm. Awesome. Shall also quicken your mortal body, make you, a, you and I alive. Yes. How does he do it? By, the, by his spirit that dwelleth, abides in you and I. You know it, apostles. Uh, John 6, 63 said, I ain't going to say it. But see, the spirit is the spirit that quickeneth or giveth life. He does. Amen. 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 Where did I leave off? What verse? Okay. Verse number 12. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things of God are, that are freely given unto us of God. Of God. Verse 13. Which things also we speak not in the words which man's wisdom teaches, but in the but which the Holy Ghost teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. See? See? The Spirit will teach. Yeah. I mean, he will teach me. I mean, we got a helper. We got a friend. We got a corrector. <laughs> we got a director. We got a love in our life. Got the love of God that shed abroad in the heart by the Holy Spirit. Ghost. You know, I, I have to, I got to say this. I got to say this. Then I'll read verse number 14. That's, that's the last, that's where I want to stop in this chapter. You know, I, I was in, I, I came in this morning, and you know, it's good to have family. Yes, yes, it is. Yes. It's good to have family. 
And I came in this morning, Kathy, I came in this morning and uh, I was over there and my sister, she came over. And I seen her coming, you know, I, I seen her coming. She didn't come all the way over, but she, she did this. I just want to say good morning. You know what that did for me? That encouraged me. That encouraged me. Then a little while later, my other sister, Teresa, came over and gave me a hug. That encouraged me. You know, we got to encourage one another. That's family. Family. That's what family does. When family sees something bad or something happened to a family member, you know what that family does? It goes to that one's aid. I so seen it this morning with different ones that the body prayed for. And talking about them. Well, I'm going to stop at like 12 anyway. But I remember what Paul wrote in in the book of Ephesians. And I'm talking about the fivefold. And you know what the whole, everybody has a part to do because he talked about what everybody got a part to do in, in, in 1 Corinthians and 12 chapters. Yes. Everybody. But he said he gave some apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers, for the perfecting of the saints, the edifying, the, the perfecting of the saints, the edifying of the body of Christ, and the work of the ministries. When God uses the fivefold, He's telling all of us, Amen. All of us, yes. to do it, how to do it His way. Amen. His way. We gotta understand that. But I don't know who they think they are. <laughs> hey. I'm nothing but in me is the greater one. We can't let people, we can't let people shun us. Paul wrote it in Romans the first chapter. He said, For I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. It's the power of God to salvation to everyone. Who believe to the Jew first and also unto the Greek, for therein is the righteousness of God revealed from wow, from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. Hmm. I got seven more minutes. I have to say this though. I have to say this. I, I like walking. I love it. It, it just that's me. You, you said it. that's me. That's me. The Lord told me this years ago, and I didn't understand it when he told me. And I know this word is coming forth right now because it's not coming forth for me, but it's coming forth from this vessel who is being used by the Holy Ghost. And I know that God's word is not going to return unto him void. It's going to prosper in the thing the thing he, he sent it to. Yes, yes. It's going to prosper. Yes. Amen. You know what? My job as a, a vessel is just to, to, to dispense. I, oh, there's other verses, but I, I think you know, there's other verses. <laughs> you know, sometimes, you, you, I know you know, Apostle, sometimes you, you, you try to save some <laughs> But you know, because you want people to know. You want other, you, what's in you, you, you want to give, give it out. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. But that's what we got to do. We got to give it out. We got to give it out. We got to give it out. I'm going to read this 14th verse. Romans 14, 14. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God. You hear that? The natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God. The fleshly man does not receive. That only ain't made no sense. Well, it doesn't to the natural man. Amen. It's not going to. For they are foolishness unto the natural man. 
Neither can he know them because they are how? Spiritually discerned. Discerned. Discern. Discern means to know. <laughs> he lives. He lives. Christ Jesus lived today. He walked with me and talked to me, so I know. How <laughs> many experience that day by day? You know them songs, David Rogers? Them songs you play? They remind me. They remind me who, who, is, who is with us. Every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Every day. You know how we know that? Because we're with him in, in fellowship every day. If we're out in fellowship, that, that song is it's going to be a song, but it's not going to really, we're not really listening to what that song is really saying. I got one more scripture. It's in 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, the first three verses. And this, there's another. I'm not going to read it, but there's another verse similar to this, and you can write this down. It's in 1 Corinthians 11, chapter, the 23rd verse. It's called the communion chapter. Okay, are you there in 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter? Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preach unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, mm -hmm. by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. Now here's a, this, listen to this verse. See, I can't give you something that I don't have. There's a process. We have to we have to receive in order to give. Amen. If I'm out here trying to preach and I ain't receive what I'm giving, trying to give somebody, you know what that make you know like the word is not gonna be ineffective. Not that the word of God is ineffective, but see, because if I haven't done my part in receiving it. I gotta receive it to give. And you know, when I give, I, I said this a while back, but, but I didn't finish it. The Holy Spirit both reminds us. We must we, we must be, be deliberate in how? In faith. <coughs> if we want to see those results. We must receive it in faith. Yeah. If we want to see results, if we want to see fruit. This third verse, now I want us to really pay attention, then I'll be done. The Holy Ghost will be done. I, I, I don't know. He, 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 you know what? That's not. That's incorrect. He's never done. <laughs> he ain't never done. <laughs> For I delivered unto you, first of all. Everybody say first of all. First of all. Say it again. First of all. First of all. One more time. First of all. First of all. That which also I, I which also I, which also, which I also, which I also received. Number one, can't deliver it without receiving. I know that I know the, the the wording there, but see, I looked at that. But you see, we have to receive, Steve, before we can give, before we can deliver. That paper boy, you don't have to go to the paper company and get those papers before you can deliver them to the people. That milkman, you remember the milkman? Oh, yeah. You just go around, you put your change in the milk bottle, and he come, and, and you, he take that empty bottle and that money, and, and he put a full bottle there. See, he got his milk, he got that supply, he came from the source, the milk company. Yeah. Here's our supply. Here's our supply. The word. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We can only first receive, then we deliver. 
I'm going to read it again. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scripture. I'm not going to go through that whole scripture, but see, I encourage you to see what he delivered because first he had received it. That's the point. Yes. That's the point. In, in, in uh, the 11th chapter of 1 Corinthians, the same, same thing in verse number 23. Paul said, I deliver unto you that which I, I also receive. Amen. See, th the word will prove itself out. Amen. Amen. The word will prove itself out. The, the word will prove itself out. The word will prove itself out. I know I'm saying it, but yet, he didn't have an ear. Let him hear. Let him hear. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. If you've been enlightened or challenged by this word today, friend us on Facebook or subscribe to our YouTube channel, and you will get notified every time that we post. We invite those who live in the Fremont, Ohio area to join us in person on Wednesday evening at 6.30 p.m. for a time of studying God's word and building your fellowship foundation in him, or come next Sunday at 10 a.m. for a time of family worship. We're located at 604 Holland Street in Fremont. Intercessory prayer warriors faithfully take every prayer request to the Lord. Send your prayer request or financial blessing to us at Post Office Box 1323, Fremont, Ohio, 43420. You can also go to our website, rolwohio.com, where you can contact us through email, link to our social media posts, or link to our PayPal account. We look forward to hearing from you, and remember, there is no God.